promising change and expecting to win by a landslide. Just months ago, Ismail Mangudadatu, who's running for governor of Maguindanao, couldn't even imagine a rally like this would be possible. It was very painful and heavy, but on the other side of the coin, I am happy. Why? Because it was an avenue for people to be set free and use their own free will. Last November, 25 members of Mangudadatu's family and at least 32 others were massacred on their way to file his candidacy. It's the worst case of political violence in the Philippines. The alleged perpetrators included incumbent politicians from the Ampatuan family, leaders of a powerful rival clan that now stand accused of the killings. Their arrests were seen as the beginning of the end of patronage politics. But things here are not that simple. This is the Ampatuan family stronghold. Now, the massacre happened just further up this road. Of the 12 Ampatuan family members that have been implicated in the multiple murder case, 10 of them are running for public office. These villagers fled their homes around the massacre site in fear of further violence. Hundreds now displaced and without livelihood. Most would not have spoken up before, but the recent power shift in the province has changed that. I'd like to vote, but I'm afraid there might be violence. We have no power anyway. No matter who wins, it will be the same. We are only just followers. It's exactly that mindset that authorities want to change. The province has been under a state of emergency for months, but it's also been the battleground of a Muslim separatist insurgency for even longer. Many of them had been uh, the victims of crossfires, They've been victims of political and family rivalries. Whoever holds in the most number of bodyguards is the most powerful. We are trying to erase that uh, mentality here right now. The province will be under the control of the national electoral body during the polls, and there is a gun ban in place. Authorities say it has helped, and there are fewer weapons on the streets. But the fear of electoral fraud remains, as does the possibility of violence that has marred previous elections. But more importantly, for the people of Maguindanao, there is also a notable difference. For the first time in years, they are allowing themselves the luxury of hope. Margot Tigas, Al Jazeera, Maguindanao, Southern Philippines.